Hello friends, in the present video we will understand the concept of capital structure. So in this video we will cover introduction of capital structure, what is actual capital structure is refers to as well as we will cover the most important concept of capital structure that is EBAT and EPS analysis. Right. So cost of capital videos have already been made. So regarding those videos information will be furnished in i button that is link will be furnished in i button as well as in the description box right so meaning of capital structure what is capital structure is actually refers to capital structure is refers to here the mixture of different long term sources of finance such as equity preference debentures or any other long term source of finance so how we will keep the mixture and combination of these sources of finance and deciding the capital structure is one of the most important decisions of financial management as it is closely associated with the value of the firm whereas the capital structure is the permanent source of finance for company represented primarily by long term debt and equity right then what is financial structure most of the students will get confused with capital structure and financial structure so we must understand what is financial financial structure so when you talk about the financial structure financial structure is differ from capital structure financial structure is refers to total liabilities all the liabilities of the company called as financial structure whereas capital structure is refers to only the long term sources of finance is called as capital structure Finan what is capital structure so financial structure is also including capital structure right so that is the reason if financial structure is equals to total liabilities or we can say one more uh, way that is capital structure plus current liabilities because capital structure is long term source of finance and current liabilities will not be included in capital structure when you add both it will become financial structure please don't get confused uh, when you talk about the optimum capital structure what is optimum capital structure what is the basic uh, funda with basic idea of capital structure the capital structure which is weighted average cost of capital is to be minimized whereby value of the firm will be increased optimum capital capital structure may be defined as the capital structure or combination of debt and equity that leads to the maximizing the value of firm basically try to remember the cost of capital should be minimized right value of the firm will be maximized uh, objectives of capital structure again the same thing right so decision of capital structure may be aims at the following two important uh, objectives that is maximizing the value of firm at the same time minimizing the overall cost of capital so when you minimize the overall cost of capital then only your value of the firm will be maximized right uh, forms of capital structure when you talk about the forms of capital structure the normally we can have the practice of keeping equity shares only in the sense what what do you mean by forms of capital structure it is the structure that we normally adopt in company form of business either you can have total equity shares or you can have equity and preference shares only or you can go equity and debentures debentures is refers to yes long term loans or you can have combination of three that is equity preference and debentures right then ebit and eps analysis this is the most significant part of the capital structure problematic area so when you talk about ebit eps analysis is important tool of analyzing the importance of as well as impact impact of alternative methods of financing on earning per share see always basic objective of the firm is to maximize the eps maximize the earning per share because when earning per share gets maximized the value of the firm will also increase so how to calculate eps so calculation of eps formula is ebit that is earning before interest and tax minus interest minus tax 
minus preference dividend divided by n where eps stands for earning per share ebit earning before interest and tax where i is interest t is tax rate pd is preference dividend n is number of equity shares so the ebit will be calculated and highest eba is the more ebit is the most uh, significant a decision of the business in the sense always business wants to keep highest ebit right sorry eps so earning before interest and tax minus interest minus tax minus preference dividend so this is the earnings available for equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares so see the illustration uh, you can understand better with the help of illustration xyz company currently an all equity capital structure consisting of 15000 equity shares of rupees 100 each so abc xyz company is a all equity shares company which is now presently possessing 15000 equity shares all of rupees 100 each so 15000 into 100 that is equals to 15 lakh rupees is the total capital structure of the company presently the management is planning to raise 25 lakhs to finance the major program of expansion and considering the three alternative methods so they require 25 lakhs and they are uh, having three alternatives one is issue 25000 equity shares of rupees 100 each 25000 into 100 25 lakhs they can raise or issue 25000 percent debentures of rupees 100 each instead of equity you they can issue debentures even the but the interest rate is 8% whereas instead of these two they can issue preference shares that is 25000 percent preference shares of rupees 100 each so of these three alternatives any one of the alternatives they can opt for right so company expected to earn before earnings before interest and tax will be 8 lakhs so ebit given in the question that is 8 lakhs always it will be given assuming corporate tax is 50% determine the eps in each alternative and comment which alternative is best and why so like this we have given three alternative present capital structure 15000 equity shares of 100 each and company requires 25 lakhs so we have three alternative equity debentures and preference to raise this 25 lakhs so which of these three alternative is the best one that we need to calculate so how to calculate we will understand so again i have taken the question when you come to the solution uh, i have prepared a table here in this table particulars alternative 1 alternative 2 alternative 3 so under particulars first i have written mode of finance what is the mode of finance under that first one is equity second one debt third one is preference so first i have to take ebit earning before interest and tax in all the alternatives we are getting 8 lakhs each so 8 lakhs will be the ebit amount so from this what we have to deduct first we need to deduct interest so interest will be there in the second alternative only that is when we are raising the money through debentures in the first alternative we don't have any interest so in the second alternative alternative only we have interest that is 25 lakhs into 8% that is equals to 2 lakh rupees is the second alternative interest in the first alternative we don't have and third alternative we don't have any interest so uh, once we deduct interest the resultant figure what we are getting is called as earnings after interest but before tax tax we did not deduct it so therefore our earnings after interest would be first one 8 lakhs second one 6 lakhs and third one is 8 lakhs from this we have to deduct what tax that is at the rate of 50% given in the question once you deduct tax uh, how to calculate tax this will be calculated on earning after interest so 8 lakhs into 50% will get 4 lakhs 6 lakhs into 50% 3 lakhs 8 lakh into 50% 4 lakhs so like this if you deduct the inter, uh, what we call tax you will be getting earning after tax that is equals to 8 lakhs minus 4 lakhs will be 4 3 minus 6 minus 3 will be 3 and 4 lakhs from this we have to deduct preference dividend so in the alternative one we don't have any preference dividend in the alternative second we don't have any preference dividend but in alternative third we have preference that is we are raising 25 25 lakhs through preference so 25 lakhs into 8% that will be 2 lakhs will be the preference dividend after deducting preference dividend you will be getting 
earnings available to the equity shareholders this is the net earning available to the equity shareholders so if you deduct how much you are getting 4 lakhs 3 lakhs and 2 lakhs then you need to or write down the number of shares number of shares uh, so earnings available for equity shareholder represented as a number of shares are represented as b so in alternative one already we had 15000 shares again we have 25000 equity shares comes together number of equity shares are in the alternative one are 40000 number of equity shares only whereas in the second situation we have issued debentures therefore our equity shares will be the existing shares that is 15 only we are not issuing equity shares no in the second alternative whereas in third we are issuing preference shares therefore equity share will remain 15 so now once we got this number of equity shares then we can calculate eps earning per share how to calculate a by b that is earning available for equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares so earning available by 4 lakh divided by 40000 shares we are getting 10 rupees is the eps earning per share whereas in the second alternative we are getting 20 rupees per share whereas in the third alternative we are getting 13.33 per share so when you see all the three alternatives alternative second is giving highest eps that is 20 therefore our conclusion would be the second alternative should must be accepted as it is giving highest eps that is 20 so like this you need to work out the problem at the same time you need to make a decision based on your eps clear we'll take up one more illustration to understand better so here there are four four alternatives i have taken here so the illustration consists of a limited company has equity share capital of 5 lakhs divided into shares of rupees 100 each in the sense 5000 shares presently it was it uh, wishes to raise for the 3 lakhs for the expansion cum moderation uh, the company plans for following financial schemes all stock in the sense total 3 lakhs will be issued equity shares common stock in the sense 1 lakh common stock and 2 lakh debt at the rate of 10% so in the second alternative 1 lakh we are raising through equity shares and 2 lakhs from debentures in the third alternative all debentures total 3 lakhs in the fourth fourth alternative 1 lakh from common stock and 2 lakh preference share capital and the rate of dividend is 8% so these are the three four alternative that the company is available with so which one is to be opted for and when you see the further question the company is expected to ebit is 150000 the corporate dividend tax corporate tax is 50% determined eps under each of the alternative and its implication on financial leverage so the same question but i have enhanced the alternatives with different level of structures so we'll work out the problem that you can understand better again i have taken question for quick review sake then solution table has been made so four alternative four columns uh, particulars 1 2 3 4 alternatives then mode of finance alternative 1 is only equity already we have equity and again we are issuing alternative one, all equity no preference no debenture alternative 2 equity plus debt whereas alternative 3 only debt we are issuing alternative 4 equity plus preference so this is the different capital structures we have then further we have to proceed with first we will write ebit ebit in all the cases 1 lakh 50000 respectively that we have written from this we need to deduct first interest so interest exist in alternative second and third only because debt is available in the second and third so second alternative to 20000 how i got it 20000 that is uh how much debt we are raising 2 lakh from debt so 2 lakhs into 10% that is 20000 and in the third alternative all debt so 3 lakh we required 3 lakh into 10% 30000 so fourth alternative we don't have any debt so after deducting we'll take will get earning after tax but after after interest but before tax so respective amounts that is 150 130 120 150 from this we have to deduct tax 50% so 50% of these respective values that we have calculated 
and after deducting these values earnings after tax that is first one is 75 65 60 and 75 little bit quickly i am going you can understand so from this we need to deduct preference dividend so preference dividend available in only th fourth alternative so first alternative no preference second third no preference and the fourth is 116000 how we got this 16000 because 2 lakhs we are raising through preferentials. 2 lakhs into 8% that is 16,000. Once you deduct these values, you will get earning available to the equity shareholders. So, respective values we calculated, earnings available to the equity shareholders, right? Then, what we have to do, we need to calculate number of shares, that is B. So, in the alternative one, only equity we have. So, earlier we had 5 lakhs each share of rupees 100 in the, in the sense 5000 shares and these also will be issued at 100 only so therefore 3000 shares 5000 plus 3000 8000 shares in the second alternative existing equity shares are 5000 plus 1 lakh equity rupees we are raising through equity so therefore 1000 so 5000 plus 1000 second alternative shares 6000 in the third alternative all debt in the sense existing shares 5000 only in the fourth alternative, 6,000 because 2 lakhs we are raising through preference. Once you calculate number of equity shares, then EPS is equals to A by B. That is amount available for equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares. So, 75,000 divided by 8,000, 9.375, 65 divided by 6,000 and 60 by 5,000 and 59 by 6,000. So, if you see all the four alternatives, we got EPS. Once you got EPS, which EPS seems to be highest? The alternative, second seems to be highest, that is, sorry, third seems to be highest, that is 12. So, when you got 12 EPS in alternative 3, so better you go with alternative 3 as it is giving you highest EPS that is earning per share 12. So, I hope I made you understand the entire crux of the EPS and capital structure, right? Uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Please do subscribe my channel, mentor the trusted guide and motivate